regular shirt. Like t-shirt. I was too lazy to take it off. I have a bra over it <gasps> and then this shirt. Soccer girl style. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's I like know. I'm practicing. Yeah. <laughs> well, because that that, that boob, that's why a lot of people don't work out. It's because boobs go everywhere. That's true. Yeah. No, it's true. Um, how are you feeling today? Good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. So today, um, over the weekend, it was a touch more. Um, the video that we're going to re uh, react to. But the first thing we're going to do, it was Mother's Day on Sunday. Really? And was it on Sunday? And Alex Morgan... Had a babe. So here's the picture. I'm gonna put it on the side. Let's cute see what it is. Cute babe. 11 30 a.m. May 7th, weighing eight five pounds, five ounces. Charlie Elena Carrasco Carrasco made her grand entrance to the world. She made us wait longer than expected, but I should have known she would have do it her way and only her way. I like that song. My super moon baby. Um, but this is a really cute picture. She is a cutie pie. I saw a couple yeah. comments in the comment section that said she does not look like a newborn because she's so... Um, yeah, she looks like a month old or something. A month old. She's like a bigger baby. Um, and then here's Alex. I get... Oh, yeah. And okay, she baby. looks like Alex. Aww. I like her necklace as Charlie. So, and what do you, so you like the name. Is that a name? I do. Is that... And Elena, the middle name, just makes me think of Billy on the street with yeah, Elena, awesome. if you guys know what I'm talking about. Which I love Elena, she's crazy. A couple more pictures right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and then, there we go, one more right there. That was a good picture. Aww. <laughs> uh, actually, she, I don't think I have the picture yeah. queued up, but there's a picture of her um, already going on a walk, Alex's walk. Oh, I saw that today. Did you see that? Video. Oh. If we had a baby, would you consider that name for our baby? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. I yeah. like the name Charlie. I do too. I do I've been too. like Charles for a girl. Me too. Come at <laughs> No, I do. Joking. Oh. I, okay. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm worried. I'll say this and then we'll go to the next one. I actually like traditionally boys' names for girls. Like Frank, yeah. George. I like the name Brooke for a boy. Brooke for Yeah, I like that. I like B -R -O -O -K. that. B-R-O-O-K. Like, you know the name Ashley? There, Ashley is a boy and a girl uh, name. Ashley Parker Angel. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> and, an, and that's actually a boy girl. But a lot of people think of it as a girl name, but it's actually a boy Girl name. That's so 2020. You, you can like name your kids anything. Um, a oh. no X Ash. Backward twelve. Yeah, Elon Ash is the A. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Elon Musk. Well, he can probably name his kids anything. Anything get away with it. Um, we should share our baby name list oh, with people. People might steal it. Well, we're because not we're babies. never having babies, so you guys should take the names yeah. and name your children that. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> they might. Hey, sometimes you hear a name, you kind of tweak it a little too. You might not like the actual name, but you tweak it a tiny mm -hmm. bit. Okay, so we're gonna do a touch more. It was a Mother's Day edition, kind of. So they had um, Sue's mom, and they had. Um, Megan's mom. Mm -hmm. Sue's mom kind of did a pre-recorded thing and that's gonna be part two of our uh, video. The first part is just the moments with Sid. So Sid okay. LaRue was on and... Wait, we're doing Sid first? We're doing Sid first. Okay. Just because I, I don't know, the couple of these moments and a couple of these moments I was shook. This moment is just gonna be Sid. Sid LaRue and I think anyone who knows, watched our channel knows Sid LaRue. Um, and she's a mother, a mother of two. And we've seen her play. Um, when we went to the Orlando Pride game. She slayed it. Was it her first came back? Yes. And I was, was like, oh, bitch, yes. Queen status. I think this might be the Clara Sonic story. I'm actually not sure. The Clara iconic story, yeah. you mean? I'm not exactly sure, but here we go. But okay. I had to go quick. Um, Chicken20511 okay. would like to know, what was one thing you didn't like about Megan okay. when you first met her? Hmm. You know, I thought she was mean. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, mean girl, huh? I called my mom. <laughs> I called my mom and I told her that, that Megan was kind of mean. Oh, you know, it's real what when she calls doing? her mom. I know. What is she doing? Can you be this mean? Yeah. I don't know. She's salty. She's salty. I don't, I don't know. Remember, I actually do remember that. You know what? I do remember that. When we were I can totally see it, though. And so no, it fun. wasn't the Clarisonic <gasps> incident. No. Um, it was came, prior to that. You, might, you guys might have to share that. Uh, oh, absolutely. It will, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> it's already in the script. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so, like, a camp before, one of my first camps in, and I just remember just, like, trying to kind of be cool, and you were just not having it. And then I remember calling my mom and saying that... <laughs> You were, you were, you were getting bullied, basically. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. Yeah. Mean and then Aww. we became roommates. I'm not the person she really that said she that. Probably so was. you know what? Honestly, it's fair. <laughs> I need to reevaluate now. Then That's Morgan Bryan said that to me. We became roommates <laughs> the next camp. And I was like, calling my mom and being like, oh, Darn, oh, the bus. Yeah. me and Pino oh, are roommates. Like, how, you know, am I going to mm. do this? Oh, my God. It could be a good thing. Like, sometimes you just don't know. Because I was this young. Sure. So it. young. True. So young. Ah. With the heat. Right. Shit, and you were like funny, and like, you were like, I think you were even vegan at uh, the time. She was and, like, jealous. Vegetarian. You don't want her to be funny. Yeah, yeah. she was a vegetarian. Asparagus and onion. Asparagus, <laughs> onion, and a mound of pasta the size of <laughs> fucking Mount Everest. And uh -huh. <laughs> I just don't think that that's great. And literally every second you were in the room, you were fucking sleeping. And I'm like, I think your energy is a little low for where we need to be. Um, but you just like, yeah, you had the, I mean, like, oh my God. Just like, that's funny. it's like, you don't give a fuck. And then you get to know you and you're like, you're yeah. the most caring, like the funniest, like you'll just fucking say how it is. So oh, I don't okay. know, probably like, yeah, you're just funny feeling me out. Right? Yeah. It's it's totally how it is. Yeah. We like, uh, we were like, uh, feeling out. Yeah, okay, know. that is so funny. Like, we're gonna get to the Clarisonic story in a second. I think they're gonna tell it. But that story is so funny. Like, I think when you go on the team and you're you're with someone who's gonna be, you know, you just never know who's gonna be nice, who's not gonna be nice. Mm -hmm. I know. My favorite part is Megan uh, Pino's reaction though. Oh, I wasn't nice. Oh yeah, okay, I could kind of <laughs> <laughs> like a little self reflection of okay, maybe I wasn't the nicest. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, and sometimes you just don't know someone. I've had people in my life where I think they're like annoying or horrible and then I get to know them, I'm like oh my god they're actually pretty cool so oh my gosh there was this girl in college where at oh, first yeah, yeah. I like hated her I did not like her and I was friends with her roommate we were yeah. all we, we all lived on the same floor but I was like I do not like that girl right right and we turned out to be like really good friends yeah see so it's pretty she's like part of our friend group yeah and I was like yeah when I first met you I did not like you <laughs> And I could see kind of how Pino could be like, I don't want to say mean girl, but like their thing, but kind of like, hey, you, I'm just not going to be your friend or I'm the funny one, get your own thing, you know, and I could totally see Megan like, because she's kind of hardcore. She's a hardcore bee. You have to be a hardcore bee to stand up the way she stands up for things and justices. So you have to be hardcore. Okay. So I think the next story is going to actually going to be the Clarisonic story that, that kind of bonded them. I think kind of bonded them. Okay. Didn't we have a fucking so, whatever. So me and Pino were roommates, and I was shitting my pants about this, and slash sleeping. Anyways, and I think okay. I got sick oh, that camp. She's yeah. roommates with Pino. I think I had like she's a sick. stomach flu or something. It was sounds, bad. Sounds bad. Hundred yes. percent. Yeah. Yes. Bad onion. Yes. <laughs> From the onion. <laughs> bad asparagus. Bad onion. <laughs> bad onion. Or bad tossing. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so my yeah. stomach was done, and. Yeah. I remember her going into the shower, and that was like when the Clarisonic had just come I out. One of to like, I know. You know, exfoliate your things. dead skin cells. Yeah. And so she's in the shower, and all of a sudden I hear <laughs> my Clarisonic. Like, you hear a Clarisonic. <laughs> yeah, I don't have one. Oh my God. God. The Clarisonic. The Clarisonic. <laughs> she shook. Like, Are you using it on your face? Surely. Surely she's not using my <laughs> face, my dead Girl, skin. Oh myself. my god. Because that would be fucking crazy. Because that's gross. Because that's gross. And so she came out and didn't say anything. And then I snuck <laughs> in and I was like, feeling. <laughs> oh god, it was wet. <laughs> and I was wet. And I was Honestly, I got into that shower. I saw that bitch and I thought, my sunscreen needs to get off. You were in Arizona. We were in Arizona. I said, Oh my god. That's no shame either. Not at all. That's how our friendship started. That's when you guys You know, it's funny because I feel Absolutely. I fucking used it. Yeah. I know. I know. Um. Mm. aggressive but i do Same. not like confrontation mm. so there was no way <laughs> yeah. that i was ever you were insane shit. so wait when did it first that's like crazy. you guys that's actually talk a while it. later that is really yeah not a while later yeah a while later yeah yeah 
You should have said that. Oh, wow, your skin looks really good. <laughs> I, I would have been, been like, oh my god, again. thank you. Wow. This yeah. is amazing. So that's how we yeah. became. Okay, Tiny that is hilarious friends. because, oh my god, that's such a good story. Could you story. ever imagine? Okay, in that situation, would you be Pino or, Pino or Sid? Would you no, be I would be Sid. I know. I would never use someone's. Clarisonic? Clarisonic. That's like using their, I mean, toothbrush or razor something like that. Or... I can even see razor. I can see razor. But it's like, like their toothbrush. Yeah. It's like you're not going to use someone you really don't know as their toothbrush. Right? Yes. And Pino is no, gives no cares about it. I'm just going to use it. Oh, it's in the shower. It sits. I don't barely use it. She's like a dude. doesn't even care. Oh, no. she uses it. Which is funny because they're taking the quarantine very seriously. Megan is pretty much. And so like from the person that would just use anyone's Clarisonic to taking the uh, quarantine seriously, it's just like, I guess you get older. But Megan was like, it, I'm, I, I like Megan's attitude about it guys. I'm not embarrassed by it. I was just a weird kid. I was a weird 20 year old. You know what I mean? Seems like a weirdo. Yeah, like I could never imagine doing that ever. Maybe no. my sisters or something. I could imagine using my sisters or my mom's. But a, a, a new person you like just yeah. met at camp. I'm gonna use their clear sun. Roommates live and that stuff is expensive. Those were like a hundred plus dollars, especially back then. It's yeah. not, it's not. Okay, so that's, that's iconic. <laughs> Comment down below if you would ever do what Pino did. And if you would give no. If, Some people have no shame and they're just like, I, I do this. feel like. I would. I have friends who would do that. Yeah, I know. I would feel like I would say something. They'll be like, oh, did you? Uh, maybe not. If I was scared of Pino, no, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? And yeah, I, I think wouldn't. there's um, a thing about like intimidation on the team. I, I can't ask Pino if. She used it. She she's gonna start maybe like a mean girl thing. Not that they do that, but people who get in groups mm -hmm. do that inadvertently Thanks. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next clip is okay. Abby story. Yeah. Abby's oh, okay. Give it to us. <laughs> so I obviously not now, but I regularly get my eyebrows threaded. Mm. So I was like Abby. You need to come and just come with Abby, me and Abby get your Becky. eyebrows threaded. Yeah, like oh, stop messing around. Imagine? I know. And, you know, the upper lip. Oh, yeah. Your mustache. <laughs> yep. All of us. Today. We all have it. We all yep. have it. Yep. You either shave it or you thread it. Okay? <laughs> yes. 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 Do not lie. Do not uh, lie. Even I have it. I'm, I'm very fair. Right here. Yeah, I know. My, my mole hair is like. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't just like let it go. So we, so she's getting her eyebrows threaded, and this is I'm pretty sure the first time she's probably done anything, you know, to really give her some shape with the brow. <laughs> give her a coherent shape. <laughs> One that you can, you know, two separate yeah. ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I heard so, that's not too bad. She's like, oh, does it hurt? Does it hurt? And I'm like, no, like, you know, you'll usually have no. one that hurts a little bit more. That's true. <laughs> I mean, she was in she tears. <laughs> <laughs> she was in, and She's big, tough, and too. Being in pain sometimes That's makes hilarious. you just kind of giggle to yourself. It's just funny. It's just it's funny. It's just funny. <laughs> it's funny. This has a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I can say that too. Two, from two very dramatic people, I would say Abby is more dramatic than both of us. Wow. Stay yeah. a lot. Wow. Damn. Stay a lot. Wow. But let me go. It is painful <laughs> if you've never got it done before. And your first time getting it done is at 38. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. That would be me. I've never got my eyebrows threaded. You say eyeballs. So, <laughs> you've never gotten your eyebrows threaded? Threaded? Oh, mm -mm. They're thin. Mm. So she just has this like, oh, I'm so natural, beautiful. I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, mm. But do you need to thread your eyebrows? Thread them. I'm in here She's with a fucking magic on. marker. Be <laughs> <laughs> Okay, these, do you remember? It's like they're That's there, good. but like, drawn. it's she very drawn. Eyebrows. You have to. Ma you have to get, did you get yeah. the tattoo? No, I'm just nervous because I can just fill them in and it's fine. Yeah. But like I haven't dyed. Normally I dye them, but the I haven't micro, dyed the them. Micro in micro okay. That, okay. I put the clip A because Sarah's an eyebrow queen. Uh, but Abby, and my eyebrow horror story. Y'all heard it. I know. I know. <laughs> I said, but like Abby, while well, like never having her eyebrows 
done anything going, she's big and tough and nothing's gonna get me. And I mean, they're making it more dramatic, but she I starts totally crying. Like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. And I love Sue and Megan's moment where Sue, she's just, I know she's joking, but oh, she's just naturally beautiful, doesn't he? And then Sue gets embarrassed and Megan says that. Um, but I just thought that was so funny because you think about these interactions. I've never heard that story. I love these little stories that we keep hearing. No. Just like, you wouldn't think, I mean, like you said, might think. Stories for the fans. For the fans. We love it. If you could read one of your teammates' DMs, who would it be? Oh, okay. It's tough. That's a good question. It's so good, though. Hmm. I'm not using it, right? <laughs> you're always on I'm team. out of this. I'm out of this. You're in, the, you're in her quarantine. She's like, no. <laughs> Whose DMs? I like, like to. Whose DMs would you like to slide into? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad question. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Yeah, Dom's Dom's uh, Dom. crushes Jessica oh. Alba. <laughs> Gorge. <Yeah. laughs> I want to read Alex's. You know everybody's. I was uh, thinking uh, Alex's. Yeah. I would go for Allie and Ash Ooh. because I think that they have some crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. No, right. They've got the craziest <laughs> of all of them. I believe it. Allie and Ash. Mm -hmm. Remember when you forgot to tell everyone to be seated at oh, the yeah. wedding of the century? And we all had to stand up for six full minutes. <laughs> okay, first of all, we remember. Let me, let me tell you how this one you remember. Yeah, yeah, do tell us. I said, I said, have one joke. Pino, in the morning, because I had just written my speech and I had just finished it, I was up until like. We went over. She's probably very nervous. Like five yeah. in the morning yeah. doing this. And so I was crying. Just one. I was oh. crying. I was crying to Pino, and I was reading this, and she goes, "You can't cry. Don't fucking ruin this thing." <laughs> That's what you said to me. Well, and I said, "No." She's such a hard ass. Yeah. She's literally me. Got my well, you're together. together. Yeah, yeah. I pulled it all in. <laughs> pulled it all in. And I took a couple of breaths, and I got through it. Good. But I did forget <laughs> to tell <laughs> everyone to. To sit the fuck down. Yeah, you may be seated. You left grandparents oh, no. up on the oh, no. <laughs> with their knees. With their knees are knocking. No. Okay. Dom, what's your story? Oh my gosh. So that it's <laughs> crazy because I think she wasn't being sarcastic. I think it was a very short ceremony, six minutes. Yeah. So six minutes stand, even if you're a grandparent. You have to stand for certain amounts of times, I would suspect. But I think she felt bad about that um, because... I think it's all fun and... Oh, yeah. It's everything. Games, yeah. Um, and then what about sliding into... I kept that because I think a lot of Crashland fans watch our channel. And hmm. Sid is saying, Crashland fans are wild, which... Raise your hand if you're the crazy Crashland fans. We love it, what, though. What? <laughs> and I think a lot of times... It's Alex and, and Crashland or Allie and Ash. But yeah, I think... I think a lot of people just look at Ali and Ashlyn as just so, like, it's their icon, you know what I mean? It's what they aspire to be like, you know, yeah. two Thanks. beautiful, successful, talented women in a relationship and just doing their thing. But yeah. if anything is teaching us tonight about anything, well, Pino is such a freaking hard ass. I can not take it. In a good way. You're yelling. She's a hard ass. <laughs> in a good I way. She is who Sarah wishes she could be. Well, I am her with, with your mom, <laughs> with you, around you, and with your mom. my mom, and with and my true people. She's like that around everyone, which I think you wish you could it's be. Kind of shy girl in front of everybody. Yeah. Else. So okay. next, like I said, I don't know a lot of these are beforehand. I am just we're just gonna react after. So, many. so here we go. Okay. And looking down for timestamps, so and we'll tell you in the in the. You know, I've been about my skin. Me and Sam went we to school together. <sighs> I love that. Okay, Samuel. UCLA. Like, UCLA. Oh, okay. UCLA. Are they still good? Number one when I was there, but it's okay. We, <laughs> we uh, got to the final four. I'm pretty sure they like never won ever. They made it to the final four like a bajillion times. Our, our we did time. win it. Uh, Sam won it, I think, a year or two after I left. The year Sam was there. So All I year. know <laughs> is I whooped some UCLA ass in my final. I scored a goal and I did one of these. First of all, all I know is my freshman year, I came to Portland and we took you guys I was lightly injured. You weren't. You played. God, I love seeing him get. I don't I remember. Otherwise, I would have 
stump. And I took your ass down. This little finger getting that What are you doing? I believe it. Unfortunately. I think it's true. But because it was me, Chaney, Tina DeMarcy. Well, it was a fucking scene. Very friends to the room. Did you know? Did you know Sue played on the Olympic development team in Long Island when she was Long a child? Island. Long Island. Oh, she was a child. When she was a child. She could have been a great number she 10. She could have been our teammate. She could have been our teammate. She could have been a teammate. Been, been budding She's this been long. I, I know. I know. Would not have used your you know, I had a thing for She could have been a goalie. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was so funny. Like, there's Matt talking. They look, oh, you know, right. you can just tell what coming friends are. Uh, yeah. Pino is so feisty and they like, she feeds off people, you know what I mean? If I... Would you say she's a sourdough starter? Oh girl, yes! <laughs> I love them, Nicole. Feed off of that. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sarah's too clever. Sarah's too clever for the room. What can I say? Um, but they're talking about how usually I like, I guess the only year they won the national championship was the year Sam Lewis was there well she was there for four years but girl they're smack talking <laughs> no bones about it we love it we, we love, love it. it love this little finger game i know we're gonna start using that so this clip i do know is about talking about motherhood because this is mother to say edition motherhood and soccer because female professional athletes have to make decisions male athletes do not have to make and that <laughs> is kind of what sid's talking about because we always have the conversation, is it the same, is it different? But Sid's got basically saying it's different and women Let's have see. to think about it. Yeah, so, that's true. So, Unless there's two gay dad athletes. That's true. Where are you guys hiding? Yeah, oh, the gay athletes. Yeah, the gay cool. athletes. Okay. Yeah. Um, to wait till they're wait done. Till they're done. Fun. Because I think uh, it is impossible uh -huh. to give everything that you gave before wow. when you have something that you mm -hmm. love so much mm -hmm. you know before you only have this one vision you know and it's yeah. like that's all that mm -hmm. matters that's the only thing that matters and that is who you are and that is who that's what your life mm -hmm. is whereas now i'm like okay who i am first and foremost is like a mother to my mm -hmm. children that's that's yeah. who you have to be um and i love soccer I still love it so much. I mean, I wouldn't be playing if I didn't. But I can't. I can't fully, completely focus on what I felt like I used to be able to focus on. Mm, yeah. Because I feel like I have so many other things yeah. to worry about. Like when Cassius or Rue is at practice, I don't practice mm. well. Right. Because I know that yeah. they're there, and it's I know fine. that I have to worry about that, and I know that. I can yeah, it's so life. it's so different for moms. I feel like than yeah. uh, for dads because and for dads, I'm yes. like you know like like for now, I'm like can he take his like can he take yeah. his two children on the road? No, like I don't and even know if they always... have like paternity no. like rights for the MLS. I mean, I have yeah. no idea. Like I guess if he was a single father, I'm sure that they would like they would figure manage. Out. But yeah. you know, I've seen you. I've seen like other teammates, Christian Rampone, Shannon Box, you know, Kate Markgraf. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm missing people in here. Josh McDonald. Like they all have kids, and like, like it does. Like it basically like we we all sort of end up like being a part of it, yeah. which is so wonderful. I think for the like peripheral yeah. player, but then like you're but going to bed think with it. Like you're going, yeah. you know, I also you're... think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Women are different. Mm -hmm. Women are different. If mm -hmm. if you brought a baby into a men's soccer team, they'd be like, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you bring a baby into the teams that I've brought my babies into, it's like, wow. It, you see, it yeah, does take a position. But I wonder, like, I wonder if you bring it into a men's environment. Because we know that, like, I feel like we yeah. know, like I've, my whole career, I've had kids, whether that's like Piercy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, know, I think that's such an interesting conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sid first tells her friends who are still playing to wait. Um, and that's a hard thing to say. You should wait, you know, if she's giving, her, if she is giving her <laughs> opinion about something. And then she also said something else that I think is kind of controversial. Which isn't controversial, but in a way it is. She goes, we're different. We are different. What do you think when you hear that word? Oh, I mouth to the camera that we're actually better. Okay. But do you think that's okay to say too, that we're better? 
because that's okay. no different mm -hmm. yeah i mean we are different okay like women push things out of them mm -hmm. give birth to things mm -hmm. men don't different anatomy <clears throat> mm -hmm. um so it's a different like mm -hmm. dynamic just like it's a different bond between a mother yeah. And but how do you think that relates to the professional sports of it? I don't even pay more, but women shouldn't be looked at as premier athletes like men do because they're not worried about the game 100%. They're worried about if they have children, their child first, like Sid says. I just think it's such an interesting conversation because I think what Sid says, and it's actually as real as someone can get, I think, especially as a parent, she could just say, no, I, I, but she's literally saying, now that I'm a mother, sports take second fiddle. And men don't say that. I've never heard a man really say that like that. If a woman would say, you know, they put sports mm -hmm. above their child, the whole world is out to attack them. Oh my gosh. Call child services. Yes. Yeah. And if a man said the opposite, oh my, you're soft. What do you mean? No. So I don't know how we overcome that difference. And I don't know if we should or if it's a thing, <laughs> but I think we just have to have the understanding that one isn't better, one isn't the same. I think it's a conversation that's going to go on for a long time. It's not going to be solved. It's not going to, there's not going to be ever a consensus on it. I truly don't, I yeah. truly believe there's never going to be consensus on it. Yeah. Of course about you wanting kids. Well, uh, all over the place, you know. You okay, the, the head and shoulders through is a lot. Head giving birth. <laughs> oh, aggressive. I was talking about the shampoo, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I'm really concerned about that. Yeah. It's never the same. It's never the same. Right. Heard that over and over and over same. again. Yeah. So, um, that's a concern. Um, but yet people do it over and but over. But then people do it over and over again. I know. Because, because they forget. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's so much to do because kind of there's a lot. Like, you have to, there's so many steps. Like, okay. Kids. To even make you an really appointment to, to go know. to the dentist, I'm like, oh, this is so much. Like, yeah. I don't want to go to the dentist. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh, you got to call. You got to really. do something. And then yeah. imagine that, like, being like, you got to call. You got to do blood work. You got to freeze your eggs. You got to do the donor. You got to pick yeah. the donor. You got to like get yeah. the semen. You got to do the turkey baster, like or you got to go to. The... Can't, it's not, it's definitely not a whoopsie daisy. It's not a whoopsie daisy. No. Yeah. I'd probably have ten if I had a whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I would obviously have used sorry, protection. <laughs> you know, I wasn't into that straight life. <laughs> I was always about. No, I thought you life. tried the straight. I thought you <laughs> tried the straight life. <laughs> no, I didn't try this. You've never tried the straight life. You had a boyfriend. <laughs> like four hundred years ago. Yeah. 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 I tell you what, I Eagle love star. Josh Olson. Yeah. Shout out, <laughs> Josh <laughs> Olson. Where are you? Josh is somewhere getting high fives. He's getting high fives. <laughs> like he tried so hard, and I just like I. It's like I Aww. loved him, but I also wouldn't you know, do anything. anything. <laughs> so like it should have been a signal to everyone. Actually, it was a signal to him. Cause he pretty much broke up with me. <laughs> no, it's like there was Luke Verona too. I love you, Luke. <laughs> he was all the names, first names, last names. Okay, you uh, all the full names. Well, there was yeah. Luke. <laughs> so that was the thing. What's your but, social? Like, no, I was like not in that straight life. But you always knew. No. That's the problem. See? <gasps> it's a problem. See, when I got to college, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who did, I was like, fuck everyone for not telling me I'm gay. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. I looked back and I was like, this is, oh, as yeah. soon as I figured it out, I was like, no one told me. This is so rude. No one told her. <laughs> and yeah. then I was like, you know, the gayest that I could be. Yeah. The most yeah, possible, gay. Possible. Yeah. But no, I didn't still know before. And, and I'm still the most gay. <laughs> except, <laughs> that's true. For Fauci. except for Fauci. Except for Fauci. Cheers. And like a few other people, you know. Cheers. Cheers. Aww. No, I would be I would be not gay for Fauci. <laughs> like he's already oh, being like a What about No, you because two? he's our you only ever... hope. Okay. We're gonna hear about Sue in a second. Okay. But what do you think about okay. so <laughs> I dated this guy in high school his name was also josh um and he turned out to be gay as well yeah so we Go both figure. you guys both knew knew um the gays somehow always date yeah. each other i know right they're drawn to each other i truly believe but she's saying that like she you know i guess that answers all questions she is you know gold star or whatever you want to you know some people don't like the term but she's she's oh, a lesbian term. And I love it. She, no one told her, which I think a lot of people have that experience. You just don't know because you don't see it or you just 
especially 15, 20 years ago when she was in college, you just don't even think about it a lot of times. Yeah. You know, you just don't understand. You just don't think about it. Um, but then also she said the thing about giving, having a baby that like, it's just like, and we and Sarah talk about this, for gay parents to have children, it's such an extra effort. It's just not like, oh, we have a baby. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, no ever does. It doesn't work like that. So Sarah and I sometimes <laughs> have the conversation, gay parents are better parents, you know, because it, they, they want the They child. had to try they so hard. They plan on that child. They tried so, so hard. They think it's so smart. Yeah. So smart. So and having a baby with Ella, she goes, I don't even want to make a dentist appointment. Um, so I thought, I thought that clip, I don't think I've ever heard that Megan talk about that. Just never being, she might, might have, but never being with the guy, you know, I want to hear about Sue. Okay. About no, Sue? because he's yeah. our yeah. only hope. Did you ever dabble on the other side? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't oh. gay till later. <laughs> Unrealizing quotes, later. but That's funny. like a after college. Oh. But she was. I mean, I dabbled with women in college, but then after college, I was like, so up okay. until that point, yeah. This is definitely for me, is what you said. <laughs> after that, yeah. It's so funny, when we started dating, Rachel was like, because Sue like wasn't like publicly out. She was like yeah. very open in her life. It wasn't oh, like yeah, 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 out, yeah. out, you know? I remember like, this. Like if you're a public this. person, you have to do yeah. it. And Rachel was like, so, <laughs> like, what's going on? I said, well, that's not gonna last for very long. <laughs> She's dating the gayest person like ever. True. Gay by proxy. Yeah. Yeah. Gay by proxy. We started being photographed together. It didn't. It didn't last very long. It didn't last. It didn't last long. long. I didn't think it would. I, I know. I said, yeah, Rachel was just like, so yeah. I was like, I know. It's a scene. It's not gonna last for very long. I know. I'm not saying her. anything, and I'm not gonna pressure her. And but my thing was like, I'm also gonna I snuggle to right up to her. <laughs> <laughs> like, she knows everybody. I know you've told everybody. So did you just did media. you just not Except feel like that? Michelle Volpe. Well, shout out Michelle Volpe. <laughs> what? Did you just feel like that part didn't necessarily need to be said or? No. So Sid, have you ever dabbled <laughs> <laughs> from I from someone in the comments? Oh, I, was like, <laughs> I have never dabbled. Oh, oh ever. And then I got married and I was like, you know, Maybe I should have. back in my 20s, <laughs> you know what? Why didn't I die? What is he? You know? I want to see. I know. Yeah. But no, I never did. I know he did. Okay. I always liked, I always liked the boys. Someone just said, did Chris dabble with men or women? <laughs> <laughs> Christopher was too young for any of that. Yeah, Christopher, Christopher just wanted to sexual. play baseball and so Okay, so those are the Okay, we learned two things. We learned Sue was still, um, she, whatever you want to call it. Late bloomer. Late bloomer. She seems like. She realized what she liked more, realized what she didn't like after college, which I think she think is if you're kind of, you know, sexuality is, what do they call it? It's a spectrum. It's a... Yeah. It's a grade. It's not one or the other. Um, but then she decided, no, I like I like the ladies. And kind of after college, everybody's a little gay. Yeah, honey boo. <laughs> and so it'd be fun that. And it seems like obviously when you do date the most gay public it figure, is. it's you, you were doing it knowing that eventually it's going to be talked about. So if she really didn't want to ever talk about it, I don't. I feel like she wouldn't have dated someone so public. Right. That's number one. Number two, Sid has never dabbled which interesting i was surprised because okay two she reasons that seems very open somebody she would. yeah somebody in our comments once told us she had some type of dabbling with another player i'm not even going to talk about the player because it's not about that but how they thought that there was like a secret relationship and i feel like it's just speculation but i feel like sid would have talked about it like i honestly think she would have been honest yeah she seems super open like and, and she kind of gives especially off in yeah. Here's the time to admit it. You know? She kind of gives off those vibes too, like those very like secure, like I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get with a girl if I want to get with a girl vibe. Yeah. In some of her older pictures, I know I didn't show them, but, but she had a mohawk. She was kind of alternative looking. She was tomboy. <laughs> so you kind of think um, that I don't know. I was surprised by that. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I was surprised by that, and I wish she would have because I wanted to hear a story. I know, oh, right? and then. Sid kind of asked Sue about the story, like, why didn't she want to come out? And then Sue really never answers the question because Megan interrupted. But I'm almost glad she did because I'd rather hear about uh, her. Megan's the queen of interrupting. I, I know, she really is. That's me in the relation. So those are the clips. We might add a couple Sid clips to the clips to the, the mom's clips. But those ones, I don't know. I think I thought we learned a lot. You yeah, know, those are good clips. I thought we learned about, about Sid, about 
Pino, um, about Sue. I think she got, you know, I don't know if Sue ever five years ago thought she'd be talking about how much lesbian, how, how much of a lesbian people she's been with, you know what I mean? <laughs> if she's been yeah. with the guys or, okay. Did you watch the whole four hours? Oh, we forgot to talk about it. It was five four, hours. Five, it was four hours. Four. What four is? hours, another four hours. Did you guys watch it? Did you watch the whole thing? Um, because they're iconic. After the quarantine, I bet we're not going to get these, so we should eat it up while we can. Yes. Questions, comments down below. Look out for part two. I don't know when we are going to post part two. It might be a little bit later. It won't be the day after we post this one. I'm pretty sure about that, but look out for that. It will be out. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.